I blame Cabarrus County uh, <laughs> that inspectors that. <laughs> uh, for a little bit of it. I do blame them for a little bit of it, but man, had them come out four, to- four times. Each time they would point out something different for the, electri- the electrical inspections. And then finally, and then finally got out there and he was like, oh yeah, you have to have uh, a complete, uh, you know, uh, meg, uh, meg done upstairs. So I have to pay an uh, electrical engineer to come in and test every single wire, every single outlet, every, you know, everything in there. And then tell me what all is wrong. Luckily, it wasn't as much as we thought. But the worst part is, after we fix it, I have to hire him, ba- him back to do the same test again. Oh. To show that, that it's been done, been done, it's that stinks. And it's only, you know, it's not too bad. It's only like, you know, a little over two grand per test. Oh, is yeah, that all? That's it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> see, that's something you can't put, you can't plan for that. You can't put that in your budget. It's, oh, I don't even, yeah. It's, my budget. Whew. Yeah, that's tough. The, the good news, the market uh, covers up a lot of mistakes. Oh, well, the it thing is. lately. Yeah. My, all my, I mean, that, I, yeah, the electrical is a is a mistake. I, you know, I also put in I also put in um, I put in uh, what is it uh, porcelain tile floors down floors down. Yeah, that's the part I was talking about in the first <laughs> yeah. place. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, it cost me you know two weeks and I don't know how much money I would want to say, uh, but, but I could have just put in luxury vinyl pl- plank. Uh-huh. But, yeah. Like, but again, luckily, every day. <laughs> That becomes Continue more and more valuable. Continue yeah. uh, price. So too funny. My mistakes are mistakes are covered. Uh, by the way, the house is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, and you got a good deal on it, and you're still going to make profit. Yeah, yeah. If anyone wants a house in Concord, <laughs> that's already done. It's ready uh, to go. Yeah, once the, the electric's electric, good. <laughs> once the electric is done upstairs, it's done. That's for sure. You yeah. know, I've got a, one more. We talked. We talked about inspections. electricity is overrated. Yeah, electricity is overrated. <laughs> So we talked about, about the inspection, how that can hold you back and how time can save you as mm-hmm. well as kill you, but it can, but it can also. So uh, my uh, business partner and I had a house in um, uh, here in Rock Hill on Center Street and we bought it thinking we were going to put, you know, bought it for 80. We we're going to put another 80 into it and thought we would be able to sell it in the low twos. Mm-hmm. Um, we ended up, from inspection after inspection, failed inspection after failed, failed inspection, three contractors later, ended up putting $160,000 of dollars of work. And your original budget was 80? Our original budget was 80. So we're a little over budget. Just a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> um, when we put it on the market, by the time, it was a year and a half later from where we started, by the time we put it back on the market, we were able to list it for, let's say, 40 Fifty thousand dollars higher than what we thought mm-hmm. we were going to get for it when we bought it. Well, well, you did yeah, so. and we got full price offer, so we were thrilled about that. That and actually left the closing table with about five grand in our pocket. In our pocket, once all was said, done, hey, that's that's a win right there. But when you put in to factor in our Return financing no our financing oh. costs we had we made payments longer yeah. than we needed to we actually lost lost four thousand dollars on that yeah if you don't have a net sheet when you do these deals like like uh, that sheet is just like net return so it takes in all the things that you you know you you know is insurance everything along the way that mm-hmm. that is expense on that property you won't ever know your true return unless you track every single thing. That's right. Just because you walk away with a closing with $20,000 doesn't mean you made $20,000. Really 